Chapter 5, Mishnah 5. A burning coal has a tachum of its owner, but a flame may be moved anywhere. Since a flame is not a tangible object, it is not subject to the laws of a tachum at all. Therefore, if someone took a flame by lighting a candle from another person's flame, the candle is not limited to the tachum of the flame's original owner. The Mishnah mentions another law that distinguishes between a coal and a flame. The law concerns the prohibition of me'ila, using hectish property sacred to the temple for private purposes. One who uses the burning, burning coal of hektish for his own purposes commits the biblical sin of me'ila. However, with regard to a flame of hektish, one may not benefit from it. But if he does, he does not commit the biblical sin of me'ila, since it is not a tag tangible object. Another distinction between a coal and a flame. One who moves a burning coal out into a public domain on Shabbos is liable for having done the malacha of transferring. However, one who moves only a flame is exempt, since he has not moved a tangible object. The Mishnah discusses the tchum of water taken from a well on Yom Tov. Water taken from a well owned by a private person has the tchum of that person. Water from a well jointly owned by all the people of the town has the same tchum as all the people of the town. Water from a public well dug by travelers from Babylonia has the tchum of one who draws the water. This type of well is considered ownerless. Therefore, water drawn from it assumes the tchum of a, the person who drew and thus acquired that water.